Okay, we are on to week nine for the Jets, who will host the Texans on a Halloween edition of Thursday Night Football. So we're going to get to know a little bit about the Jets' opponent this week with the host of Touring the AFC South podcast. His name is Mike Patton, and he joins me now. Mike, what's going on, man? Wow, another week of AFC South football, whether you're covering your eyes or looking uh, great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, hey, the division, maybe, I know we talked at the top of the year, not quite as competitive right now, maybe as I thought it would be. There's one team that's standing out above the rest. That would be the Texans. Mike, they are off to a 6-2 and two start. They're atop the AFC South. What has been working well for Houston this season with year two of C.J. Stroud in the center? That would be the running game, honestly. Uh, last year they had uh, single Devin Singletary, who is a member of the New York Giants right now. And this year they replaced him with Joe Mixon, who they traded for from the Cincinnati Bengals. He's only played in five games this year, but four of those five games he's rushed for over 100 yards. And he's given the Texans another dimension that they did not have consistently last season. And, you know, eventually that's going to pay off for them uh, as the season goes on. Yeah, it's going to pay off. The running game has been good. It has helped Stroud and that offense. Stroud looking really good in year two. So Texans fans have to be happy about that. As I mentioned, six and two start. Now the Jets... They're on the opposite end of things. They are two and six. They've lost five straight games. Considering New York struggles and this being possibly the last chance for them to save their season, are the Texans viewing this week nine contest as a trap game? They're definitely not. No, they're they're viewing this as a game against a tough team and a tough opponent uh, and the offense commanded by a Hall of Fame quarterback. Uh, when you look at the Jets' defense, the Jets' defense can cause some problems for anybody, especially with Sauce Gardner out there and Quentin Williams up front. Of course, the Texans have had issues in pass protection this season. Uh, couple that with the offense uh, having, um, you know, the, the the you know the Jets' offense and the weapons that they have. Of course, they can cause some issues, and the Jets are definitely uh, a team that the Texans are going to take very, very seriously and not fall into the trap of, oh, we got this one. Okay, not going to be sleeping on the Jets despite their record. When you look at these two teams, what do you think will be the X factor or X factors in deciding this Week 9 matchup between the Texans and the Jets? I think with both teams, they have issues against the run, and I think the running game will be an issue for both teams. Uh, if whoever gets the running game going the most will win, whether it be Brees Hall on the Jets or Joe Mixon and the Texans, and one guy I think to keep an eye on potentially is Danico Autry. I know the Jets have issues uh, offensive line-wise. Danico Autry is a versatile offensive lineman that can line up interior with, as a defensive tackle and outside as a defensive end. He can cause problems with the pass rush along with the run game. If he gets going, it could be some problems for the Jets offensive line and the Jets offense as a whole. All right, so he's a player to keep an eye on in this contest as well. Now, Mike, when you look at either, whether it be on offense or defense, what challenges can you see New York providing Houston in this matchup? Well, the Jets defensively are going to provide an issue because uh, Stephon Diggs, I believe, suffered a knee injury on Sunday. Uh, there's no... Uh, you know, no designation for his uh, return or anything of that nature. So you have Tank Dell, John Metchie the third, no Nico Collins, potentially no Stephon Diggs on a quick turnaround on Thursday night. The Jets secondary definitely has an advantage. And I will also say the Jets wide receivers have an advantage because other than Derek Stingley Jr., you do have some troubles in that secondary with the Jimmy Ward and, uh, you know, guys back there as well. So there is some question marks and there is some chinks in the armor for the Houston Texans on both sides of the wall. All right, so we'll see all about that. Now, look here, Mike, in New York right now, the Jets fan is not happy. They are down on the Jets. They are not feeling good. As I mentioned, they've lost five in a row. So last thing i got to ask you is, what's your prediction for this Thursday night Halloween showdown? Will it be the Jets or the Texans giving their fan bases the treat of a sweet victory on Halloween night? Well, unfortunately, I believe the Jets will be giving uh, their fans a trick. <laughs> I think the Houston Texans will win the game in a close game in this one because, you know, the availability of different players as well. And I think the running game of the Jets uh, doesn't get going as much as the Texans running game with Joe Mixon because he's just that good. The Jets will lose this one to the Texans in a closer game than probably many people would think. Well, I mean... 
a lot of that has happened this year with the Jets. They just lost a close game to the Patriots that nobody thought was going to happen. So you got the Texans winning this one in a close one on Thursday night. We will see what happens in Week 9 if the Jets are able to save their season. One more time for them to save their season. If they can get to 3-6, and six, well, the Texans will improve to 7-2. and two. That is Mike Patton, host of Touring the AFC South podcast. Check that out. Mike, always a pleasure talking with you. Thank you for this breakdown. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you again.